And now this. The union and Chester City leaders held a groundbreaking today for a new multi-sports facility on this patch of land along the Delaware River. Dan Snyder is outside Subaru Park right now with the story. Dan? Yeah, good evening, Yuki. Just a few hours ago, we got a glimpse of what's planned for this entire area behind me, just outside the stadium. And leaders I talked with say this is a big win for the community and for Chester's economy. The Philadelphia Union are celebrating a win they say is for all of Chester. This afternoon, Union, city, and county leaders broke ground on the new Wisfis Bank Sportsplex in the shadow of Subaru Park. It's something Chester Mayor Thaddeus Kirkland says he's been looking forward to. It's going to just be a, a huge investment in the name of Chester, in branding Chester. The $55 million privately funded project will bring eight fields, two multi sport courts, a sports performance center, locker rooms, and more to a 32 acre plot just southwest of the stadium. Mayor Kirkland says the complex sets Chester up to be a heart of sports. Right across the river from New Jersey, right up the street from Philadelphia, right down the highway from Delaware. It's going to bring people from all walks of life right here to the city of Chester, which means an economic boom. But just how many people are officials hoping to attract with the sportsplex? Union President Tim McDermott has high hopes. We expect to have about 500,000 500, new visitors to Chester every year um, and uh, you know, over $90 million in economic impact over the first decade. McDermott says this is continuing the process of revitalizing the Chester waterfront, which started 13 years ago with the union's arrival. Mayor Kirkland looks at the project as one more thing to move the city forward. This means progress. This means continued steady progress here in the city of Chester. Now, where we're standing right now, lots B and BVIP, they are going to remain open through the CONCACAF uh, Champions League semifinal. That's on the 26th. So if you're coming to those games, you can still park in those lots. After that, though, they're really going to start that construction process. The fields are expected to open in August of this year, with the entire complex being ready by May of next year. Reporting in Jester, Dan Snyder, Yuki and Siafa, let's send it back to you. Well, it seems like just yesterday there was a contest to name the team. And look how far we've come. That's beautiful. Thank Love you, buddy. Appreciate it, Dan. Thank you.